day good evening i hope that you had a really nice journey and a really nice and comfortable journey to guwahati uh, so so uh, let us start from the beginning of your career you've had a stint with international politics and domestic politics politics other than that too uh, so so let's start with when you were there in the prime minister's office uh, uh, during mr narsimha rao's term so so mr narsimha rao is like a very well known person when it comes to his economic policies so, so how was your experience working with him but narsimha rao was a, a very mature political leader he came to he came prime minister after having gone through several ministries and that and he was also a very stable person a very balanced uh, person which helped in uh, seeing us through the most difficult period of our history i think the early 90s 1990 1991 was the most difficult period mm -hmm. of our history because we were financially bankrupt late 1989 kashmir had blown up into a full fledged uh, uh, insurgency in that kind of situation and punjab was still in a disturbed place so uh, and this was also international at the time when the cold war had come to an end the soviet union had collapsed so uh, the west was dominant and uh, india had been towards the later part of the cold war had been very close to the soviets so there was no sympathy for india in the west in this kind of an environment uh, narsimha rao had to handle the economy he had to handle the political situation in the country and lead us through that extremely difficult period he built a working relationship with the bjp because the bjp was the leading opposition party at that time and some of the leading uh, some of the leaders of the bjp he developed a personal rapport with them and the first two years still the incident that occurred in uh, ayodhya the babri incident till that time there was very close cooperation between the two parties and this is what saw us through that, that difficult period and the reason i started admiring him was when he scrapped that industrial licensing act of 1940 Lock, stock, and balance. We just don't need that act. This is an act that had come through in our country, and it, which was licensed by the government. And instead of tinkering with that act, he just scrapped it, and then slowly started building the economy. On Punjab, again, a lot of patience. I remember uh, there was a period when, for about six months, there was no incident in Punjab, and since I was still idle with the media. i suggested that we should highlight the fact that there had been no incident in punjab in those peace he turned me down he said you can't do that he said don't do that because we don't want some terrorist group some mad chap somewhere just to prove us wrong to go and kill somebody and especially the first two years of his uh, government were extremely good for our country and thus 